Welcome to Nugget 60 with Steve Groman. This is our 60th nugget. What we wanted to do in this nugget is tell you about the previous nuggets. Many of you are new subscribers or have only watched a few of the nuggets, but we want to encourage you to go back. There is a wealth of information. Of the 60 lessons, 33 are specifically about creation. And I want to go over those today so you can go and look back at these nuggets. Nugget 1. What is light? Do you know that you don't see light? Nugget 2. Why is teaching creation important? Well, God starts His Word with creation, so it must be important. Nugget 3. Fossils in a Missouri mine? Well, yeah. Nugget 6. Living fossils. The ginkgo trees and the redwood trees are gorgeous trees, but they're found in the fossil record? Nugget 7. A Supai Indian pastor has Genesis 1-1 in his church? Nugget 10. What is the difference between science and science fiction? Nugget 11. It's an experiment for school groups, church groups, or families. It's called Got Dirt? We have a lot of people that have told us that they have used this nugget and done this experiment at their home or with their school group. It's fun. Just do it. It's Nugget 11. Nugget 12 is about stratigraphy. Does it prove evolution? When you drive through road cuts and see all the dirt layers, what does stratigraphy prove? Evolution or a flood? Nugget 13. Textbooks. Their facts change. The Bible. Facts don't change. Nugget 14. Does homology prove evolution? What on earth is homology? Find out in Nugget 14. Nugget 18. Collecting fossils? Where can you collect fossils? Where do we collect fossils? How do I collect fossils? This is all summed up in Nugget 18. Nugget 19 is Roe v. Wade. Sort of an inside look at Jane Roe. Nugget 22, what is biblical creation? How do you define that? Nugget 23, a whale's tale, part one. How a young boy can influence your child. Nugget 24, creationism. Is creationism our word or their word? Nugget 25, evolutionism's squirrels. There are two squirrels in the Grand Canyon, and evolution loves them. Find out why in Nugget 25. Nugget 27, what is all this talk about extraterrestrials? Are there ETs? Nugget 28, minimization of humanity. Why do people have such low self-esteem these days? Does it have anything to do with evolution? Nugget 29, Darwin's thinking. Who influenced Darwin? Who did Darwin influence? And is Darwin influencing your children? Nugget 30, science and religion. What is the difference? What makes something science and what makes something religion? Nugget 33, after his kind. In this nugget, we introduce you to the ancient bristle cones, these fabulous trees. Do they prove evolution or do they prove creation? Nugget 34. Why do whales swim? And why does God specifically call out whales? Why doesn't he call them a fish? Are they a mammal? This is part two of the whale nuggets. Nugget 35. Evolutionists need water. What on earth are we talking about? Well, watch Nugget 35 to find out why evolutionists do need water. Nugget 36. Dinosaurs are now the birds? Are you kidding? Well, that's what evolution teaches. Learn more in Nugget 36. Nugget 38. Fear and Dread. Meat eaters. Were dinosaurs always carnivores? Nugget 39. Flesh. The Bible says there's one kind of flesh of fish, another of birds, and another of beasts. Does this prove creation or evolution? Nugget 40. Young people are walking away from the church and from God in droves. Why? And how can you stop it? Nugget 41. Find out about Steve's magnificent stingray, a living fossil. Nugget 42. The nebula illusion. Are the pictures that we see of these beautiful nebula CGI, Photoshop, or real? Nugget 43. Learn about a very influential Catholic astronomer. Nugget 45. How far can you see those truck lights anyway? And what does this prove? Do this experiment on your own. Nugget 46 is part two. How far can you see the truck? Do this experiment studying science for yourself. And Nugget 60 is this recap making this the 33rd nugget on creation. Each of the nuggets are three to five minutes in length. We want to encourage you to consider purchasing the entire series, A Creation Seminar on USB flash drive. There are 12 lessons. Each lesson is approximately an hour and a half to three hours long. This means that there is over 26 hours 
of information available to help you and your family grow and learn more about God's beautiful creation and be able to stand against the evolutionists when they try to change your children's way of thinking. Give yourself information to be armed to be able to answer your children's questions. All students, though, should be interested in this information on their own because at one point in time, they will be going to college or out into the workforce and will be speaking with people that only know of evolution. This will arm them with information to be able to declare God's creation and to have an explanation. And this will give them a lot of information to share with their friends, co-workers, and fellow students. Thank you for joining and watching our Nuggets. And thank you to those of you who join and watch our Facebook Lives on Sundays and on Tuesdays. On Sundays at 2 p.m. Central Time, Steve presents a creation seminar lesson. We are having a great response to this, and we will soon be doing these on YouTube live for our YouTube subscribers that do not do Facebook. And on Tuesday nights at 7 p.m. Central, Steve does a walk in faith lesson. And we are getting great feedback from both of these, so please spread the word. And thank you. Uh, as you know, our spring schedule has all been canceled and not sure if our summer schedule will hold. So we are depending on you guys out there and our new listening audience to help support this ministry. Thank you very much.